Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play Flynn, Son of Crimson. I'm getting a little overwhelmed by all of these multiple exit stages. We've got another one coming up. We seem to be missing things, but we'll push forwards for now. That's probably an ineffective weapon. Seems this slime monster particularly gets frozen for a long time. Must be by design. Not sure how I feel about the native wildlife breeding. On the one hand, I should support it. It's ultimately what keeps nature ticking on. But on the other hand, it's going to make my fights take longer. So I look forward to slaying it all. Now that I have one of these alternate shots of different elements, I wonder why I would ever use the basic attack. Uh, this one. I, swear, I think it does the most damage, or at least it does upfront damage, whereas this one does burning damage. If it was target wasn't made of a rock. I dispute the fact that that ever hit me. Should we? Ah, go on then. It's always fun to release the rage. It is funny how much easier the game becomes in rage mode. I know it's a temporary boost and that's the way it's supposed to be, but still. The difference is night and day. I'll be back for you. I know damn well what I'm doing with this key. I'm taking it back and getting Dex. I saw her. Dex, it is time for retribution. Dex really looks like she's tracking when you do this. I wonder if this is going to be something later on. Can I dismount mid-jump? You can! The trickery. Also, the deceptiveness of that war. Good bit of game design here. <laughs> For my Wow. Okay, that was fantastic. As I was saying, good bit of game design here. I've never tried dashing in the air with decks, but I'm presented with an obstacle that can literally only be crossed by dashing in the air with decks. And so you can deduce that you must be able to dash in the air with decks. And then you can press the wrong button and dismount decks in the middle of the air. And that's a whole new level of entertainment available for you right there. It's as if I found half of the secret, but not the other half. This looks like one of those doors I can't open unless I come back to the stage. Just disappointing, because it means all of my hard work secret hunting was for naught. But so be it, we shall go the simpler path. At least we found out where the alternate exit was of this stage. There's one up in any of the previous stages. Dex, can you walk through doors? Is that a... no. Shame. Just wait there then. My eyes can spot the explosives. 
I'm attuned to them. Why is this guy so easily stunned? Every hit seemed to stun him. Felt like if I just mashed, he would have never got a turn. That's very nearly me gone. It's a bold game that tries to make me wait on platforms. buttons, righty-ho. Ascend me platforms. Pogo is useless! Why can I be hurt mid Pogo? probably going to work out ultimately that the best weapon was the axe and I've been doing myself a disservice this whole game. I'm not a fan of these bees? Wasps? Flying spiders? They hatch spiders. Whatever they are, I don't like them. And again, I don't like them because they're difficult, so kudos to the game. Me, I can't roll through this lock. I am disappointed beyond measure. Uh, that has to be hit with lightning. This game asks a lot of me. It's testing if I have memory at this point. Can I possibly break this without? Well, I don't really want to do a down slash here. I'm sure that there's a way... Oh, right, you can shoot from here. I was going to say, I'm not wasting my precious energy on this. I see how I'm getting hit by this thing. It can turn after it's begun channeling its attack, which is maybe not new, but not common. This frantic weapon swapping is proving tricky. The fact that there's weapons and magics I keep swapping. Sure, I'll shoot that, why not? Oh, I understand. I just saw something unbroken and decided I must destroy it. But hey, it paid off in the end, so that's fine. I'll assume that helps later. I'll assume I want to go through the pathway I opened up. Maybe not. 
not. It would be kind of pointless devastation if I just opened up pathways and didn't utilize them. We can't be having that. Oh, you're coming with me? No, nope, you're taking the long way around. Understandable. I shall do the same. Oh, it's on a time limit. Right, okay. It's been so long since I've seen one of those time limit door switches. That was fantastic. Now I've actually forgotten what it meant. I thought it was just showing me the path, in case I didn't realise where the door was. But no, it was actually signifying something far more important. Run! Why did I go this way? No idea. I think I need to hit that cycle if I'm going to make this. This is way too late for it. Yeah, way, way too late. Maybe you got to go over the top then. Okay, there's a place to stand. I'm being very dense about this. There's a very specific spot that doesn't have any brambles on it. For this express purpose. Riding this all the way to the top because I saw the heel. I want to explore this though. I can't resist. I should resist. It's not a prize that's worth anything to me. I got information from it, I suppose. Game suddenly kicked up a gear in terms of difficulty. Jumping onto one tile wide platforms now. You dare challenge Dex? Oh, you foolish fool. I don't even need Dex's help. I will do momentarily. For this brief period of time, I do not need Dex's help. Alright, Dex. Get back in the driver's seat. Did you just lick your lips at them, Dex? The disrespect. Dex is hungry. Hungry for blood. The Dex is obviously very strong, but not completely immortal. I shouldn't be quite so cavalier with this. Oh no, it's the enemy that the game mistakenly thinks is strong. Yes, you may have handled 20 soldiers side by side, but can you handle one claw guy? Yes, I can. Dex bounding so happy. The devil was that. It would seem a certain someone went and got themselves a pet to try and match mine.
Seems they got a vastly inferior pet, though. The devil even hit me. How dare you. Okay, it's fine, don't worry. Dex won't get hit this time. Observe. Dex did not get hit. You didn't see that. I didn't expect to be spawned quite so close to the edge. I can't even make the jump. Why did you spawn me here? Getting back is a nightmare. Okay, you better not die, Dex. Sorry, I've not made this the easiest for you. To demonstrate your power. Not sure why I just dumped, jumped over the brambles like it was a threat. That's the whole point of Dex. I mean, we've got to take some of these, right? You can't present goodies like this. I expect me to just leave them be. I have no idea how on earth I dodged that. Hang on, Dex, just stay down there, you'll be fine. Don't even think you can come this high. Right, back to it. I think we're safe, Dex. The music's changed. That's how I navigate. Little surprise there's not a boss fight here. Gonna have a quick saunter back to town. If you don't mind. You hideous creature. Looking sharp, Yombo. Looking sharp. Disgust me. Right, what have we got on the cards today? I keep thinking I've got this. So maybe I should get it so I stop accidentally trying to do it. Follow up to the plummet attack. I don't really like the plummet attack. It just ends up getting me killed. Follow up to the aerial attack. It's a little better, but not much. Healing orbs up, health up. Not too exciting. That's quite exciting. I mean, these just look more interesting, so maybe we'll go that way. Fire burns through enemy stun meter, also interesting. Well, I'm going to get this, because I keep thinking I've got it. And now I'm not mistaken. We'll get the time, what does this do? Ah, uh, dodging in crimson mode. I don't dodge ever in crimson mode, I just mash attack. Sure, we'll make the bar even bigger. What's this? Okay, damage as you transform. I see, I see. I feel strengthened. Lead the way, birds. How the devil did you get here and not die? Okay, Bax, my best friend. 
Don't, don't snort the entire forest. A bit rude, aren't you, Talon? Did I see what? No, I didn't see anything, mate. Must have been the wind. I saw you. The mushroom deity himself. You're right. Yeah, I've got decks now. You want to see some of that? Can I can I go get my my faithful companion? That's my latest power. Oh, fine. I'll just freeze you. You poor fool. Don't do that. Now I gotta use my in my lesser magics. Can you stop evading me, please? It's rude. Let's get a better weapon. Let's try the try the claws for a change. That that, that was some terrible, terrible gameplay that I would sooner you all forgot you ever saw. Just if we can pretend that never happened, just you and me between us, I would appreciate that. Okay, this time I'll stop messing about and I'll focus on actually just fighting the boss. Dodging attacks, that kind of thing. Oh wait, that didn't actually connect. I'm going to hit you with the stun attack, or the, the down attack, the heavy attack, whatever we're calling this thing. That is so bad. Why am I finding this so difficult? I have no idea. There's nothing hard about this. And then I... When I created a damage window, I didn't take any advantage of it whatsoever. Alright, now we got the real pattern. You just don't overcommit to the attacks. And just use roll all the time. There, we got it with that heavy attack. It didn't seem to do very much, but we did it. Now we can stop trying entirely. That, that, that form is too strong. I don't care how good any of the other abilities you give me are in this game. That one move... Well, yeah, it is just one move. I'm just mashing attack. In rage form. is too strong. I so blow bosses. With that ability. We gotta, we gotta calm down. Uh, it almost feels like cheating using that skill. Good heavens, plot. Ominous plot. Shaky plot. Him is very angry. And this repeated failure, just over and over again. I don't blame him. I only came back here for a heal, by the way. If you're wondering why I would... Why can't I return to map? Fine, I shall walk. That nearly went very, very poorly. For no reason. What do you reckon? I reckon burn. Wow, that was annoying. Not burn. Destroy this. 
Okay. I'm not sure how these things are intrinsically linked to one another, but all right. So claws are very good against these spiders because they get stunned by literally any attack. So just being as fast as humanly possible is the way. Okay, I'm going to hope I don't need to do a roll jump here because this platform's tiny. All right. He's a slave to his bloodlust. Can you descend slightly faster? Ominous platform. Okay. Was this supposed to be tar? No idea where I'm going, besides right, but it's working out. Seriously, you guys need to plan your attacks a little bit better than this. You can't just blindly charge at me. I am aware of the fact that that's the cause of 90% of my deaths in this game, is when I do that. But still, I want to act like a mentor figure right now. Because even though I have faults of my own, they can do better. That was the best jump the world has ever seen. Let's do it again. Curses can't repeat perfection. Blind luck carries me through. I was just about ready to go rage mode and attack you. You're a very lucky chap. My buckle is suitably tight, thank you. Thank you for the exposition, my friend. I shall now kill all of these. But I'll let you live, because you can speak. That's good enough for me. This game doesn't want to approach the moral dilemma of why do all the monsters need slaying? And all of the sentient life gets to live. Oh, wait, the monsters, monsters are sentient too, aren't they? It must just be an intelligence threshold. When you're clever enough to speak, then you are granted with the gift of life. If you cannot speak, then you will be slain. It's not really fair when you think about it. You know what the solution is to such unfairness? Just don't think about it. That was a fantastic dodge. You see the way he didn't hit me? 
That was because I dodged. How much HP have I lost to this thing? Oh, it hit me about five times. Just a second, mate. Right, coming back. One thing at a time, one thing at a time. You know what, I've had enough of this. Let's just rage form our way through. It's what we've got it for. Oh, I do like it now that it lasts longer. Interesting. Quest marker in the middle of a stage. Not what we were expecting. You're right there. You were looking in all the wrong places. I take objection to this description, but sure, I'll give it a try. Just hope it works. I'll have you know I don't suffer fall damage. It works fine, thank you, mate. You've done well. I'm genuinely overwhelmed with the number of buttons I have to press in this game. The fact that I have both weapon switching and magic switching it just gives me so much to press. And then I've just, it just dawned on me. Every single button on my controller does something. And it's relevant at all times. That is surprising of a platformer have quite so many active buttons. Do like my gliding ability though. Big fan. Very easy to control as well. I appreciate that. That is some well animated air. Look at that. Look at the breeze. How many frames of animation is that? There's literally one. Right, it's just the same stock image. Oh no, it's two. It's two. Really broke the bank when we made that animation. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's good enough. I understand it's what it's supposed to be. I see a problem. Please leave me alone. Okay, speeding through this area might not work. I hope being on fire won't damage the leaf in any way. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah, we can re-grab. Oh, I need to kill this thing or it's going to harass me the whole time I'm trying to do this next section. My brain just tells me I hate the enemy, and so I want to avoid it at all costs. But sometimes you got to know when it's right. Just stay there and kill it. It looks like we're going down. Flawless. 
Interesting, I can't start channeling if I'm in the air. I was trying to channel my fire magic. If I've channeled it before I go in the air, I can maintain it, but then I can't fire it until I land. Okay. I understand how to get those gems, but it doesn't interest me enough. It's an odd natural phenomenon. How did you get here? Did you just fly with your wings like a superior creature? I don't think so, mate. What? I don't like this guy. I liked him until he took my leaf. Just now I really wish I had it back. Why am I being shot? This mechanic is remarkably similar to the one we had when I was riding decks. And conceptually, it's animated completely differently, but mechanically, it's the same. Please shoot me. That was instant death getting crushed against the wall. I mean, it, it would be. I'm still not happy about it. I think the trick to something like this is just take your time. As long as you don't panic, you'll get through this. The only time it's difficult is if there's a, a green wall that needs to get lasered and you don't see it coming. Then you might not laser it in time. Other than that, I think it's absolutely fine. Oh, slime. I couldn't jump properly, I see. Again. This time I punched my head on the ceiling first, making it some kind of double threat. And then it just ends. I'm always surprised and thrown off by these level endings. I expect there to be a big cannon or a boss fight on the next screen. No, no, it's just deadly silence. Well, that's a boss fight. But first there's a scourge. And first, there's an end of a video. Next time we shall take down the toxic marksman. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.